Welcome to the channel, my name is Grizzy and today we have a brand new Apex event and I'm gonna explain to you guys how you can unlock any past heirloom or even future heirloom for that matter. I will also be covering every single current heirloom in the game, we will discuss the up and coming heirloom that has been leaked in season 8 and I can provide you guys some insight on each specific heirloom so that you can decide which one you want to purchase with those precious shards. So guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my channel is all about helping you guys and getting you on that championship banner. My channel is focused on tips, strategies, and also coaching. So make sure you guys like the video, share it to others, and subscribe to the channel for future Apex Legends content. All right, brothers, let's get right into this video. So if you guys did not know, the two year Apex Legends anniversary event starts today, February 9th, and this event brings back 24 fan favorite items, but this time with a cool red and black recolor. With each Apex Legends collection event, typically we get a new heirloom. However, with this event, if you collect all 24 items, you will unlock the almighty heirloom shards. Now I know what you guys are thinking, why would I dish out all that money in order to get an heirloom? And a lot of people don't understand how they can unlock an heirloom for their favorite legend. Well with this event, Apex is going to give us two free collection event packs that you'll be able to unlock through the event tracker. So actually you guys only need to collect 22 out of the 24 items, but there's also another strategy that can help you guys in order to save a bit of cash. One thing you will notice is that when you open up an Apex pack, commonly you will unlock common, epic, or sometimes gold legendary crafting material. Some players might have some extra crafting material stocked up from opening previous Apex packs. For this one time only, with this event, the crafting cost for all items in the collection event has been reduced by 50%. That means that every single item in the event is going to be half off and cheaper to craft, so in order to save your money, you can craft as many items out of the 24 as you can, and then spend the remaining amount to unlock your heirloom shards. Now with these heirloom shards, you can do one of two things. You can spend them on one of the current heirlooms that we will be discussing here in a minute, or you can wait and save for the specific legend that's gonna be coming in the future. For all of you Bangalore mains out there, it has been leaked by several data miners that the Bangalore heirloom is coming with the town takeover in season eight. Make sure to save those shards if you do want the Bangalore heirloom. So you have your heirloom shards and you don't know exactly which heirloom to pick because there's a lot of actually really cool things that these heirlooms do without you doing your research, you might not know about them. So most heirlooms have an initial draw animation, they have inspect animations, they might have running animations, heirlooms also might have melee animations, uh, kill voice lines, and even some cool third person changes when your legend possesses the heirloom in game. Each heirloom is specific and has unique features and me personally, I like heirlooms that I'm able to inspect and twirl while I'm still sprinting, so that's one thing that I consider when I'm looking to purchase an heirloom. Certain heirlooms have cooler sprint animations than others, but you know what, let's get into the specifics with each heirloom and we will start with Gibraltar's. This heirloom is a flaming club that has a unique melee effect of flames when you hit another player. The inspect animations allow you to see some cool features like Gibraltar's shield that is currently equipped and this heirloom does have a unique sprinting animation. The sprinting animation is a bit basic, but he twirls his club as shown here. Caustic's heirloom is a giant hammer that has an initial draw animation, five inspect animations, nine different melee animations, a unique melee effect of gas when you hit enemies, which is pretty cool, and the heirloom also has a unique sprinting animation that I'll show here. The sprinting animation shows this gas looking canister inside of the hammer and the faster you inspect while sprinting, the faster the canister spins inside of the hammer. Mirage's heirloom is a golden statue of himself with two inspect animations that play sounds and voice lines. It has eight different melee animations. The heirloom also has a running inspect animation which is pretty cool where he spins the entire statue. And you know the coolest thing in my opinion regarding the Mirage heirloom is that if you have this heirloom then your player model will have his goggles down over his eyes while playing throughout the match. I think that's really cool. Octane's heirloom is a butterfly knife that has one long 
Pretty cool looking inspect animation. Also with Octane's heirloom, there is not a cool unique melee effect like fire or lightning, for example, when you hit someone with it. Octane also holds out his knife as he's sprinting with the heirloom. But you know, it also does have an inspect sprinting animation, but it's really quite odd and not my favorite in my personal opinion. Next up, Pathfinder's heirloom are a pair of boxing gloves. Now when you bring your gloves out, you do not have an initial draw animation like the other heirlooms. There is only one long inspect animation and there is not a unique melee hit effect. Also with Pathfinder's heirloom, there is not a sprint effect animation for this heirloom. And honestly, if you're not a Pathfinder main, I don't really suggest the boxing gloves. They don't really feel super interesting to me. Now next up we have Lifeline's heirloom and the shock sticks. And this heirloom has one draw animation, but three unique sounds when you bring out the drumsticks. The heirloom also has one long but really awesome inspect animation, some cool unique melee animations, and the heirloom also has electricity when you strike enemies with them, and there's also a really really cool inspect running animation where Lifeline spins the drumsticks while she is sprinting. I really love this heirloom, I'm gonna be collecting this one as soon as I get my heirloom shards from this event. Bloodhound's heirloom is Raven's Bite, which is a really cool looking axe. The axe does have a draw animation when Bloodhound gets the heirloom out, but there is not a unique effect when you melee with this heirloom. There are some cool ways that you can swing the axe at opponents and at enemies, and they are similar to the way Gibraltar and Caustic swing their heirloom. In addition, there is a cool inspect when you're sprinting with this heirloom as well. Lastly, we have the original heirloom with the release of the game, and that is Wraith's heirloom, Wraith's Kunai. Wraith has a really cool spin animation when she initially gets out the heirloom off the dropship. She only has one basic inspect animation, but the kunai does have a really cool void effect when you hit players with the kunai, and then the spinning of the knife is one of the coolest inspects while you're running and sprinting throughout the game. All right, so guys, those are all the current heirlooms in game, and we have a unique opportunity with this event to collect any heirloom in the game or to collect heirloom shards for any future legend that will be receiving an heirloom. Remember, if you're a Bangalore main, Bangalore should be getting her heirloom here in season eight, so hold on to those shards. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoy the anniversary collection event. Guys, I'll see you in the next video. I'm Grizzy, and I'm out.